hello guys and welcome to another video uh, today I'm going to um, show you how you can make uh, an icon like this for your Android application in uh, using GIMP and that's all you need uh, you can find these images doing a search online um, and figuring out the final result of the icon that you are uh, wanting that you're aiming for and so what I did I searched for a couple images one containing an Android uh, an Android um, logo and the other one containing a um, ethernet port and then I basically what I did I rearranged them and put them together and uh, that this is the result so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do this it's really easy um, I'm doing this in GIMP that's all you need so uh, let's get to it the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to create a new uh, project so I'm going to click new I'm going to since uh, it is an Android an Android icon. I'm going to say uh, this one is 512 by 512. And then I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to zoom in into this. Uh, zoom a little out. Okay. So next, I'm going to open my first image. I'm going to click on File, and then I'm going to say Open as Layer, and then I'm going to uh, open this uh, Android logo, so I'm going to click open and that will put it on top of the of the background and then I'm going to go file, open as layer again and then I'm going to open the other image that I have which is this one click open and that will put it on top and so obviously the image is way too big for the background and so one of the first thing I need to do is to right click on the image on top and go and scale it down so I'm going to click scale and I'm going to say 512 by 512 Let's see if we can do 512 by 512 obviously not okay so I was uh, able to resize the image and this is what I got so next I'm going to um, add another layer and this one I'm going to set it to transparent I'm going to send it out to the bottom, actually right before the background layer. Uh, the point of this background layer is just to make sure that um, whatever I'm working with this layer it's easier to see with the white background and so next I'm going to um, cut this section right here so I can see the, uh, the layer behind it or the Android logo is able to uh, to show up uh, picking through the through the uh, Ethernet port, so I'm going to make sure I select. Uh, always make sure I select the uh, the layer that I'm working on, and then I'm going to head over to the path tool, and I'm going to actually I'm going to make maximize a little bit, make it easy to see, and then I'm going to select the path tool, and I'm going to click here here and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, path all the way around it uh, until I close the selection so I'm going to pause for a second and I will be right back okay so I'm about to complete the uh, to close the, the selection so before you do that press the control key right when you're about to close the selection press the control key and then click on top of the first selection and that will close the other selection. So next, going to select and then from path and press the delete key and that will remove that section and uh, from now on you should be able to see the, um, the Android logo in the background. And so the next step is to um, in, uh, resize the, uh, uh, the layer behind it. So I'm going to select the layer, I'm going to uncheck the layer on top so it's easier to see um, I have this selection as a guide for positioning the the Android logo so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to um, select scale layer and I'm going to go for let's see 428 I'm double it in size I'm going to click OK and that seems about right so next I'm going to select uh, click on the move tool 
and I'm going to drag it down until I put it right where I want it. And I think that's about right. Yep. And uh, next, if I uh, enable or check the uh, the um, the layer on top, I can see that it looks a lot better. And so the next step is to um, match the, uh, the this background right here, which is uh, right now is white. Uh, we want the the background uh, to match the um, this color right here. So I'm going to uh, click on this uh, transparent layer at the at the bottom, and I'm going to click on the bucket fill tool, and I'm going to click on the foreground color, and I'm going to select the um, eyedropper, and I'm going to select this color right here. And then I'm going to click on an empty area, and uh, that should take care of it. Uh, next, if you want to um, be more detailed with the overall finish of the of the image, uh, you might want to trace around this section right here, so the uh, the uh, Android logo at the in the background can completely be seen through, and therefore giving it a more uh, realistic uh, look so I'm going to do that I'm going to so I'm going to head over to the um, Android icon uh, Android logo layer and I'm going to select the path tool and I'm going to remember you have you always have to select the layer you're working so I'm going to select the uh, the first layer and then I'm going to start making selections again I'm going to pause for a second and then I'm about to close the first selection. I'm going to press Ctrl key. Actually, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go into select from path, and then I'm going to press the delete key. Okay, so after tracing these two um, sections right here, um, I don't need to uh, trace with the path to any other section as the Android um, logo is only overlapping in this section right here. So now I, I'm able to give it a more realistic uh, look uh, to the icon. So uh, the, the other thing that we need to do is to um, get the background color here to match uh, the background color of the rest of the image. So I'm going to select the, uh, the third layer at the bottom. And I'm going to go into the um, bokeh fill tool. And I'm going to select the um, the eyedropper, and I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to give it the same color. And now I'm ready to get rid of this um, layer, so I'm going to click delete. Also, um, I noticed that now because I move. Uh, this layer right here now the uh, Android logo is kind of peeking through at the bottom so I want to get rid of that section right there so I have a complete transparent uh, background in this portion so I'm going to go back into the layer tool I mean into the um, path tool and I'm going to I'm going to pause for a second Okay, so what I did, I selected the, um, the path tool and uh, trace this section right here at the bottom. So I'm going to do select from path and then I'm going to click uh, delete. And uh, it's not, it's not one to go. Okay, I forgot I was working on this layer right here. I, actually, I needed to uh, select this layer right here. This is the portion that I'm working on. So let me see if it wants to go. I press the letter key. Yep, there we go. And so this looks a lot better. Next, I'm going to right click on the first layer, right click on it, and I'm going to select flat image. And next, I'm, next I'm going to do file, export as, I'm going to name it uh, Android icon. And I'm going to click export and export. And now if I go 
go into my home directory I can see now the final result which is not bad at all and uh, this is how you can make a very simple icon for your Android app uh, using a couple of images and uh, working with them together and a little bit of imagination and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, thanks for watching